Hi everyone. Sometimes I get asked a question. What's the difference between the Cypress global variable with a big Cy versus little Cy, another global variable inside the Cypress test? So here's the explanation. If you are inside a test or inside a hook like before E, then you can use the little Cy. You can say wrap value, let's say, should equal 42. Wrap another value, let's say who equal the little psi is defined test or a hook inside the test or a hook or outside the test or hook you can use the big cypress as well inside the test or a hook or outside the test you can use the global cypress object cypress the global cypress object it's like a static object it just keeps utilities that do not need to be inside of a test if you if you try to use the little psi outside the test, for example, by wrapping, you know, one should equal one, then you get an error. Cannot call psi wrap outside of a running test. Exactly. All the commands in Cypress that are chained of the little psi need a test context. Otherwise, they cannot be queued, they cannot be chained, they cannot execute. So outside the test, you cannot use the little psi. Now, what is the Cypress object? It's a grab bag of utilities. Let's look at this object in the DevTools. There are lots of things like jQuery, uh, iframe under test, uh, way to add custom commands, and there are a bunch of properties that describe the current system architecture, the current spec file, uh, like the current platform, the testing type, the version of Cypress, the current test, you know, all the things that are independent of the current test. The most important inside the large, in the global Cypress object are the two things, Cypress underscore, which is a Lodash library included with Cypress, that's one. The second one that's really important is Cypress config. Now, typically it's a function that allows you to find a configuration value, like base URL or let's say viewport with viewport, as I said right now. Now, these are all values that come from uh, Cypress.json, environment variables, command line parameters. These are all system values and these are all the values that you can see inside the configuration object right here. And Cypress config is just a static way of getting those. Now, inside the config, you have a little sub object for uh, environment object. Right now it's null because I don't have any environment up, uh, values. But if you have your own data that you wanna pass to the test, you can use Cypress env. Right now it's an empty object, but you can, for example, uh, set the greeting to hello there. Okay, and now if you fetch it, it just gives you an object back, or you can fetch a particular property. Now, why this is important? Because often you wanna pass values by using the end command line parameter, where you say greeting equals, let's say hi. This greeting, field is parsed and it's placed inside the env object. And now if you are running the test, you can look it up at any point, the greeting just gives you that value back. Now I have to fix this, so it's all correct. So this is the difference between the little Cy and the large Cypress globals. The little Cy only makes sense in the context of a test or a hook and the large Cypress is a global object with static methods and utilities that allow you to do things like Cy, wrap, Cypress, and greeting equal high, for example. Okay.